What's up, up YouTube? YouTube? It's your boy Cal. And it's your girl Ivy. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the video. Yes, sir, ski. So y'all already know y'all. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, yeah. tap that bell, ding, ding, sign ding. up for post notifications. Yeah, tell your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your cousin, your baby daddy, your baby mama, your all that. You know all of that. Spread it. But so um, today, what are we doing today? Oh, mukbang. Yeah. Yeah, trying to eat good. We um got some crab legs from mm -hmm. Louisiana Kitchen. Now, we actually did another mukbang uh, before. I'll probably drop the little, little hey, they thing right out. up here in the corner somewhere. Um, But yeah, we did another mukbang and we went to do seafood. Remember? Yep. This is actually the, the same, same place. place. Yep. So they are off of South Harrison and Reading. Reading, yeah. And On um, the east side. yeah, I think they're like rebranding or something. Louisiana Kitchen. So if you drive by, it still says do seafood on the outside, but Louisiana Kitchen. So yeah. I'm gonna <clears throat> drop the clip in there, show y'all what this looks like. But he got the uh, green. He got the creamy garlic. I don't um, even know what I got. Creamy now. garlic sauce. The creamy garlic with sauce. With a cluster of crab legs, um, snow crab legs, and a half a pound of shrimp. And then I just got two clusters, and we both got potatoes and corn. So, and I just got the regular garlic butter. This shit been a um, hit. With my me medium a spice. Hit. Yeah, it's gonna be really good. <laughs> you know it's gonna be good when you start dancing. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, but oh yeah, while we're doing this video, we're gonna do a story time too, Oh yeah, right? we're gonna do a story time. We're gonna um, tell y'all about this trip that yeah. we took. Trip to VA. This trip was for me, uh, while I was in the military, this trip to VA was for me to um, go to... Rigger. Rigger school. I was going to Rigger school. I was um, about to have a dual MOS. Well, switching my MOS. For my um, 94, um, 74 Delta to 92 Romeo. Yeah, I'm saying 92 Romeo. 74 Delta, 92 Romeo. Yeah, and um, yeah, this is so the we trip. Took a trip. We took a trip, and to what Virginia. we did not know was that there was a snowstorm coming down from Virginia through the Carolinas, you know, to North yeah. Georgia, and we were just, you know, on our way to Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we story gonna time. Get into this thing. We actually um well we'll get into it. So boom. We get into it right yeah. now. Alright, so we on the we're on the way. Um She picked me he, up from work. He could have just went by himself. Yeah. But you know, I was like, hey, let's just all go make it like a little family thing for a little while and then me and the boys will come back and then you could, you know, do your thing. But it just gave us some time away from the house and be still be with him. Um, so, go ahead. I picked you up from work. Mm. And we got on the road. Picked me up from work. Got on the road. Mind you, where back then we were driving, um, with the bands. Yeah, um, we had a C350. And, um, it's us two, the boys, Ashton and Logan in the back. Cruz wasn't with us. And yeah, Ashton and Logan yeah. were like, they were like two and three. Yeah, I think two and three. They were small. Yeah, they were like two and three. Were they? No, 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 no. Because no, no. Low learned how to walk. Yeah, those so they were like Virginia. they were like one and two. And um, he started walking while we were out there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. <clears throat> um, we got. Remember, we're, we're on the way up there in South Carolina, and it starts like it's like a little drizzle. But. Yeah, it wasn't like even a little snowing. slush. It's like a little slush drizzle. It wasn't Mind snowing. you, it's January. You were driving at first. Yeah, I was driving at first. It's January, and it's around five. Well, no, no, no. I got to work early, so I got to work like around two. So it's like around four o'clock. Yeah, probably about four, four or five o'clock in the evening around this time. I remember you was like, "You mind driving? I'm gonna take a nap real quick." I'm like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, cool." And yeah, I, yeah, I took a nap. When I woke up, we're in South Carolina. When I woke him up. <laughs> yeah, when she woke me up. <laughs> she woke me up and she's like, babe, I can't do this. While he was taking a nap, I'm still driving. And as I'm driving, and I'm talking about, we're going probably 
maybe 50, 60 miles mm. per hour, like not really fast. And as I'm driving, I could start to see like, okay, it's starting to freeze up out here. Like it's not just a slush yeah. anymore. Like it's kind of looking like black ice. It's one thing y'all. She do not play with it. <laughs> On the road, it's black ice. I'm talking about it makes my nerves bad. So I wake him up and I'm like, babe, yeah. you gonna have to drive. You're gonna have to drive. Cause I can't do this. So, so he woke up, we stopped cool. and switched out. Switched over. I'm like, cool, I drive, no problem. It starts to get worse. Like, real bad, real fast. As we head into North Carolina, we're going like 35. Yeah, 20, 30, not, not fast. On the highway. We're on the interstate. Going freaking like 30 miles per hour. No, that was from South Carolina, right? Mm hmm. Like, at this point, this trip went from taking seven hours to. It's like seven hours, and we're, we're in South Carolina still. Yeah. Like, we're still in South Carolina. So. so we weren't really getting nowhere. And the closer we get to where? North Carolina? Mm -hmm. The worse it gets. Mm -hmm. So the whole time, y'all, my nerves bad. He's driving, but we're going slow. It's like, it's to me a whole scary situation. Luckily, the boys in the back seat, they sleep. So for them, it's yeah. nothing but. It was, it was, we just started getting crazy. So now we're thinking, like, what the hell we about to do? Because, what the hell we about to we do? We're not about to make it to Virginia. We're not about to make it. Um, do we know anybody up here? Who y'all think we thought of? That boy Tweezy. Well, Tweezy just so happened to be. Mm hmm. What were yeah, we at? just got North up. Carolina? Is that where we ended up? In North Carolina? Yeah, or we South Carolina? North. North. Okay. Green, Greenboro. Yes, Greensboro. Yeah. So, Tweezy was like, if y'all can make it to Greensboro, I have a place out here where y'all can stay. It's gonna be plenty of space. Just meet me here at the girl he was talking to at the time. Because at this point, we were realizing if we stop, we're gonna be snowed in. Wherever we stop, we're yeah. gonna be snowed in. We're gonna be there for at least two days. Right? Because in the South, we don't know where a lot of y'all be watching us from, but in the South, they're not prepared for snow like that. So. And we could have went to my dad. Yeah. But it would have been a further drive to get to my dad. Right. So. We ended up stopping. Well, we ended up deciding that we was going to go to Greensboro. So we get. We're pretty much there. Maybe like 20 minutes away. And it just becomes like the worst <laughs> experience y'all so we got stuck right and as we're stuck my car is just spinning y'all that them mercedes bmws they not made for this type of snowy weather and all that crap so we stuck out of nowhere here comes this white boy this white boy he's in a jeep like pickup truck like I don't even know what it was, but he has changed around his, around he his tire. He was definitely prepared for cold. Like he's, like he do this. Like this is what I do. This is what I do, bro. Like I ride around and I'll get you out. Of, I'll get out of snow every day. Like, like that's what he did. He come around. He hop out. He's all happy. He's like, yo, what's wrong? You guys are stuck. And I'm like, yeah. He was like, hey, no problem. I'll get you out of here. I'm like, all right, cool. So he's telling me, you know, I'm from Alaska and all that stuff. So now what he was trying to do was. Yeah, he hooked the chain up to the car. He he had the chain. So Yeah, he got us out. Yeah, he pulled us out. I'm like, bro, appreciate you so much. He takes off. We, got we pull off, right? We, we couldn't get probably like we two to, miles. We had to go uphill, I think. We and couldn't get like two miles. By this time, Tweezy like, look, don't even meet me where y'all supposed to meet me at. I'm just sending y'all the address. Y'all will probably get there before me. Y'all just pull up to this address. Y'all yeah. will be good. I'm telling y'all y'all good. So we like, all right. So right after the dude pulled off with the chains on his truck, we going up 
incline towards you know towards the direction we're supposed to go mm -hmm. we get stuck again again and by right. this time he gone we can't even see this dude no more he's gone so we like what are we about to do that's when the police pulled up yeah they pulled up police pulled up and, and they're like you can't be stopping out here it's real in the field i don't care if it's a red light keep going if you're not endangering anybody's life, keep going. Try to get to your destination as fast as possible. So at this point, we like, you know, the boys are up now. They're fully away. They done had a whole night's rest, y'all. We've already been on the road now like 10 hours. You open this for me? <laughs> Thank you. You about your whole challenge right now. Use your teeth. Oh, it opens just like that? So. Thank you. Me inside. So, um, so boom, so we going again. This time we get stuck. As soon as the cops pull off, right, we're right behind them. And this is what pissed me off about the police because they didn't even look back. No motherfuckers didn't even look back, right? We pull over, we're churning, we're churning them. They stop, right? So we had to stop. They pull off, we try to pull off, we stuck we're again. stuck. We're beeping the horn, we're beeping the horn, they, they gone. gone. So we're like, fuck. So I got out of the car, I pushed. A random guy was walking by. Remember the guy that was yeah. walking by the intersection? And he was like, you guys need help? And I was like, yeah. Gave us a push. I'm pushing with the door open. These in the car, the boys in the back. Cause I'm I can't, I can't drive. No, 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 no. I did. Oh, I no, you I was in the car. Yeah, you was driving. I was on the passenger side. I was driving, but I did not want yeah. to drive, y'all. And I I'm really pushing. Did. And we, and, and I just hopped in the car while pushing. He got back in the car. Mm-hmm. We gone now. Now it's like, okay, we, we like, ain't stopping okay, at we all. So we pull up to this intersection. And it's a car that's coming. I probably had time to make the turn, y'all. But honestly, like I said, my nerves was bad. I really didn't even want to drive. So I freaking stopped. And I think we got stuck again for a second. This is when you was pushing and the door was open. <laughs> so wait, the because guy? Remember when I stopped right there? At the intersection, oh. the car was coming because you got frustrated at the fact that I stopped. But mm. I'm frustrated because I'm driving. I didn't even want to drive. Like all of this shit is just freaking yep, me out. Again. So when I stopped that time and we got stuck, you hopped out. You got us going again. Then you had to hop back in while the door was open. And then from here, it's like we going, we going. We didn't stop. We did yo, not stop until we, we got, got there. Stuck, like, and the close, like it's dark, y'all. So we can't even see where we are. We just see at this time, it snowed at, around out this time, now. around this time, it's like midnight. Yeah, it snowed out. The boys are up now. They frustrated. They need their diapers changed. They need to get out this car. We need to get out the car. Like mm -hmm. we were just like, what the hell? Tweez is still not here to the location where he sent us. And the closer we get there, it seemed like the sketchier it was. Everything to is get to second. the house. Right. So we finally pulled up, y'all. It was dark, like I said, we couldn't really see nothing. We were just sitting in the car. I think we had told Tweezy we made it. He had hit us up, like, yeah, we'll, I'm gonna be there in a little bit. You were like, um, somebody's gonna be out there to yeah. get you. So I'm like, bro, you're not even here. You guys pulling up, cause this obviously isn't your house. Cause we're like, it's a big house. We can tell it's big, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, me and Diamond, we're into houses. You know, we like to ride around. Expensive no, neighborhoods I don't even think we could tell so. how big the house was at that time. No, we, we, knew it was, we knew it was a decent size, though. Okay. We just couldn't tell how decent. How big it was, right. So we sitting there like, okay, what are we supposed to be doing? He told us somebody's going to come out and get us. So we waited for a few more minutes. And then two, so people, two people came mm -hmm. out. They asked us, you know, y'all got some bags. We gave them the bags. They basically took the bags into the house. We following them. As we walk in, into I'm this telling house, the guy I got the bag, and he's like, "Nah, I got it. It's cool." As we walking into this house, yeah, it's like the grass was definitely greener on this side of the road. Because <laughs> we was going through it, and as we soon as I walked house, through the door, I knew it was money because the door was yeah, heavy as yeah. hell. And when we got into the house, they walked us up up the stairs into this room. And I'm talking about we just like walking into the room. They sitting the bags down, going to like the fireplace. Yeah, I'm like, never had nobody down the fireplace. 
I'm going into the bathroom. The bathroom is like grand and just luxurious. Everything about this place was like fancy. Yeah, it was like wow. Like we just we went, just went through all almost of that. Almost died. Cause yeah, you didn't even. We were stuck behind an 18 wheel at one point. You didn't that was talking about that. That was reversing down an uh, exit that we was getting. We were trying to get off an exit. Glad we didn't get off that, that damn exit. But the 18 wheeler was sliding backwards. And as I tried to go back, the we car was stuck. stuck yep. I had to get out of the car and shovel the snow from behind the tires and so hop back in the car to pull off. Before, like in a matter of yeah. seconds. Like, like what the fuck? How did I ah, ah, ah. back in there. And this dude driving and his 18 wheeler because it's one of yep. those you get off the exit and it's like a roundabout. It's a roundabout. It goes up an mm -hmm. incline. So he's trying to go around but his truck just sliding backwards yep. towards us so it was crazy he out here shoveling bare hands in the snow trying to get us out before this truck slides back mm -hmm. all of this before we get to this little freaking heaven yeah so anyway so they're lighting stuff they're asking us what we want to eat all that stuff take the clothes cold clothes off all of this they running on water for us for the boys all this crap so we're like, I can't even call it crap. I don't want to be yeah. grateful, but all this stuff. And um, we were just mind blown. Cause we were, we were just thinking like, we about to crash about one or two easy like little partner's house. Yeah. To like, he said he knew bro, somebody. You know, no. you know a millionaire? Yeah, he, where we were actually was on a PGA golf course in yeah. Greensboro, North Carolina, all the homes there. The freaking clubhouse of the golf course, huge. I have pictures, Huge. so I'll probably throw the, some of the pictures in here. When I tell y'all, it was one of the, probably the nicest house that I've been into in my life. Yeah, and had the pleasure of being a guest yeah, there. Yeah, uh, definitely. And the hospitality while we were there was just amazing. Yes. The guy, his name was Mr. Doug, he was super, super nice. And yes. anything we needed, I mean, he had his private chefs cooking us meals. He was like, if you don't want them to cook. Just tell them what you need, they'll get it for you from the store and you could cook yourself like I'm talking about It was just a great time and he told us he was like you're more than welcome to come anytime once you cool with Tweezy You cool with me mm -hmm. y'all are more than welcome to come anytime and sure enough. We went back. We did go back and visit We but did. We stayed there for what? Four for days? Like, yeah, like four was, days. For like four days before we could Initially, even get back on the, on the road. There was so much snow and Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking about this man had a theater. He had, I mean, I don't even know how many bedrooms were in the house. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of us, eventually, when we came back. Yeah. Because Tweezy had an event over there as well. Trinita came out there. Mm-hmm. It, it was really nice. It was though. just crazy. The day we were having, we did not expect that. No, nah, we didn't. At all, y'all. We didn't. At all. We, we was really did. thinking we just about to pull up at somebody's house. Crash there hopefully for a night or two if they are allowed. When we woke up the next day, to me it was kind of unreal, like because mm -hmm. with everything that was going on, it was just darkness for real. Yeah. And then we woke up the next day and you could actually see everything. It was so beautiful. It was like yeah. damn. Everything was covered in snow. But we couldn't even move the car for a couple of days because yeah. we were snowed in. Yeah. Definitely didn't expect it to be all of that, but it was definitely an experience. Um, so we wanted to share that with y'all. Just one of the things that we've been through together mm -hmm. in our life. And definitely was memorable. Yeah. We didn't expect it to be all of that. Y'all don't judge me. Nah, but Tweezy did come through. Tweezy did come through. Yeah, he definitely did. He came through, boy. That boy came through. Right on time. Because if it wasn't for that, our well, we would have either had to turn around and come back. Um, or we would have had to try to, to make it to my dad's try house, to, or we would have mm -hmm. had to yeah try to find a hotel somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. So we hope y'all enjoyed the story time as much as we going in on these. I know. Right? Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to tell the story, but hey, this food busting. Yeah. This is busting. If y'all ever out here in the area, y'all please go check them out. I promise. Y'all gotta check them out. Some people say Juicy Crab. Juicy Crab. Called Louisiana Kitchen. They straight, but y'all, if y'all got a Louisiana Kitchen or a do seafood, go check them out. Especially this one right here on South Harrison. They look out. And 
to me, it's more costly. I mean, it's more costly to go to Juicy Crab. Yeah. But less food, I feel. Their sauce is not busting like this, though. Mm -mm. They don't, uh, do they have the creamy garlic at Juicy Crab? I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, tap that bell, oh, yeah. sign up for post notifications. Y'all make sure y'all share all of that. And hey, we will see y'all soon. We out. We out.